so you guys have never heard of this game? I had never. It, for a second, I thought it, it looked. It looked, it looked like too human for a sec. It looked very similar to another game that I remember playing the demo for for PC called Giants Citizen Kabuto. Mm. But those are two different things. No, I've never fucking heard of Outcast until right now. That's crazy. Okay, so the remake is called Outcast Second Contact. I mean, I was looking for it, so. Wait. Sorry, I said too human. I meant two worlds. It kind of looks like two worlds a little bit. Oh, okay. Two, uh, two human is think, a entirely different game. <laughs> I don't think your, your comparison to two human is too weird. Really? Isn't it weird, isn't it weird how two human is like... This, the beginning is the same as Mass Effect, don't you think? Um, yeah, I totally <laughs> remember what Two Human was about. Oh, okay. And didn't just play a demo on an Xbox CD I got from a magazine I used to buy. <laughs> Two Human was like the most expensive game ever made, where their main combat gimmick was that you would just point one of the directional sticks towards the enemy to attack. I mean... <laughs> What's wrong with dual joystick brawlers? Oh, man. Silicon Knights wasn't great the only reason that um eternal darkness was any good is because nintendo basically controlled them like marionettes yeah internal darkness was really good and then two human came out and everyone was like maybe silicon knights kind of sucks maybe maybe dennis dyack is just a gym teacher who went fucking crazy and opened up a game studio <laughs> yes <laughs> maybe it was a ponzi scheme sort of <laughs> <laughs> i mean ray mazika and greg Chuck were basically just science boys. They were like, let's make a, a game studio and made D and D games. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that you can't get an education degree and not start a game company and have it be successful. I, I also just think Dennis Dyack from all of his interviews was a fucking crazy person. He was mm -hmm. he was an internet troll before internet trolling was real. He would go online and basically like I think he had Google alerts for his name, and this is me not making shit up. This is like people things that he has said in interviews. He's had Google alerts for his name, and would just like go to forum posts. People were shit talking him, and just yell at them. Did we get him to yell at us? I tried. I don't know. I remember. Like, <laughs> Why did you try? <laughs> but this was before I, I was doing a podcast when I had a really like a very nascent failure blog for like six months. I tried to see if I could get him to yell at me by saying that like he could only get an erection by killing a dog, and he didn't show <laughs> up. So I, I don't. I think he probably smartened up. Since I'm glad then. you went subtle. Yeah, I know. I, I, I did it like I, 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 I tried to smooth my way in there. <laughs> Produce it. He can only get an erection if he kills a rat. Mm. Yeah, he's like he's like Beetlejuice. Just say his name three times. He'll eventually show up. Uh, Dave, you playing anything these days? 